Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. Last time we talked about the chain structure. Today we want to talk about another structure of a uh, possible structure of such a measurement system, the parallel structure. Briefly explain what this is. So actually we we do have two parallel items. Huh? Both have the same gain factor. Okay, so here we have gain factor k, here we also have gain factor k. Alright, and then in the end we have some mixing point. Alright, and we do have here uh, one input And we do have a second input. So this time we are measuring two different things. So we're measuring an xi1 and we're measuring an xi2. Alright? And both do have an output here. Huh? And in this mixing point, we have one plus and one minus. Yeah? So here we have our XO2, which is XI1 multiplied by K. And here we have XO, oh, XO1, of course. Here we have XO2, which is XI2 multiplied by K. And here in the end, we do have our output. Yeah? And our output XO equals XO1 minus XO2. So this is XI1 multiplied by K minus XI2 multiplied by K. And this is K multiplied by XI1 minus XI2. Okay? Now. What good is this? Uh, what good is this? That we do have here uh, two different inputs uh, and I only see the difference of the input at the output. Uh, raised by the gain factor k. One possibility is uh, that often I have one disturbance signal. Okay? And I'm measuring a measurement signal and the disturbance signal. All right. So, uh, for instance, uh, for instance, if I want to measure radioactivity, I have radioactivity, uh, and I have natural radioactivity, but I, I only want to to measure. I don't know. I have an item, and I want to see if this was radioactive or if this is radioactive. If I measure radioactivity. I can I measure mixture between the radioactivity of this item and the natural radioactivity which is there, which depends on sun conditions and so on, yeah, vary. Yeah. So what to do? So I could use this possibility. Yeah. So in example, in example. X1 radioactivity plus natural radio activity and XI2 is only natural radio Activity. <laughs> and now, if I'm measuring this minus this, so here I have plus natural activity, here minus natural activity, the result is only the radioactivity. So I could use this structure to suppress some some uh, 
failures, uh, some errors, I don't really care about, uh, and that's it. Uh. Easy, right? Uh. Parallel structure. Another another field is uh, maybe I do have some some measurement yeah, which helps me yeah they have to, to gain to gain the sensitivity one example one another another example is I want to measure uh, position position measurement and uh, I want to do it potentiometric yeah? so I have position measurement With potentiometer, so I have somewhere a potentiometer, this is R, this has the resistance R, and then there is a position, huh? and I want to know this position, because this position is movable, eh? I want to know this position, so this, this contact here this is dividing this in r1 and then r2 right so this I, I will call this r total okay rt yeah if the position would be in the middle yeah r is rt half Okay, if the position would be in the middle, I have here R and R, uh, always the half. Yeah, so R1 and here, this is delta R. Yeah, R1 is R plus delta R uh, because it's getting bigger, and R2 is R minus delta R uh, because this is getting smaller. Uh, Right, so the total has the total, the half of it is R, yeah? and so here, if we are out of middle position, we use this. Yeah? So actually, what I could use is I measure here R1, multiplied by K, and here I measure R2. I use this parallel structure over there plus and minus. Here I have R plus delta R multiplied by K. Right? R R1 multiplied by K. Here I have R2 multiplied by K, so I have R minus delta R multiplied by K. What we've got here, here we have R plus delta R multiplied by K minus R minus delta R multiplied by K. Okay, get K out. K multiplied by R plus delta R minus R plus delta R. Yeah. So this is K multiplied by R and R is gone. 2 delta R. Factor 2, yeah? double, double sensitivity, not too bad, yeah? just by using the item in a way, this helps us, yeah? this helps us, so the parallel structure has the possibility to filter unwanted things, yeah. If I, for for instance, if I'm not interested in a total in a total measurement, yeah. For instance, temperature. I'm not interested if something is hot or cold. I just want to see if it's hotter or colder than something else. Yeah? Air temperature. Is this now hot or cold? in comparison to air, then I could use here 
the, the, the air temperature and here the temperature of the two measured item. Then I have the excessive temperature. For such things, yeah, and also here this this parallel structure. It's nice. Huh? Good. Huh? So last time chain structure, this time parallel structure, next time circle structure. Okay? A little bit more complex, but it will have benefits. You will see. You will see. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.